routine pest monitoring in kitchens, storage closets like this, places like that, that's kind of a no-brainer. That's an easy place to monitor. You can check that with no disruption. Uh, these are areas where food is stored, where they have water. This is an easy thing. The challenge is monitoring in classrooms. Now, how do we do that? Well, here's what I would recommend. First of all, place a pest sighting log inside of a teacher's lounge or other common place where teachers can report what pests that they've seen. And that way, whenever you go do a routine inspection, you can check this log to see where the pests have been sighted. Then you go and do a visual inspection with a flashlight. Just take a look around. See if you see any pests or pest evidence. If the action thresholds are met, then you can deal with the pest at that time as your rules or regulations allow. If you don't see any pests, I wouldn't take action at that time. What I would do is go ahead and place sticky traps, some insect monitors, in that classroom and strategic areas. And depending on the age of the children that are in there, you may have to place those where children can't get into them um, or do some education with the class to tell them to you know, leave the traps alone, that they're only going to be here temporarily. The other key is you need to indicate where these traps are on a monitoring diagram so that if someone else has to fill in for you on the next pest inspection, that they'll know that you have temporary monitoring traps set up in specific classrooms, so they'll know where to go check them. Then once you go and do your routine checking of those traps, you'll be able to tell whether or not you really do have a pest infestation that needs addressed.